This is ZNS Total Sport. Good evening, Bahamas. Welcome to sports. I'm Jared Higgs. We're here at the Winton Rugby Field, where a select Bahamas team is taking on the Charlotte Barbarians from North Carolina. Now, this is a very competitive rugby match. But before we get to that, we've got action from this morning's Swimming Carifta Trials. Young swimmers brave the windy and cool conditions of the morning for their chance to stamp their ticket to this year's Carifta Games. President of the Bahamas Swimming Federation, Algernon Cargill, says they expect to announce the team tomorrow. Things are progressing very, very well. We have a lot of exciting swims here at the pool, and primarily because the swimmers have put the time and energy and the hard work into qualifying for Carifta. We expect to name a team tomorrow, actually, and we will name a full 36 member team to represent us in Martinique. How hard is it going to be to name that team this year? Is it going to be difficult? It's going to be extremely challenging, and we have a lot of swimmers with qualifying times. And um, this year, particularly in the 13 to 14 boys category, we have um, probably more than 10 swimmers in qualifying times. And we capped that category, for example, by eight swimmers only. So um, the coaches will get together and hopefully make the best decisions on behalf of the Bahamas because it is our goal to defend our, our repeat as the Triple Carifta champions this year. Cargill also says there's a potential health threat related to the Zika virus. Despite that, he says the team will continue to prepare at the highest standard. There is a Zico um, 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 threat in Martinique also for Carifta. So um, we're reading those reports very closely. At the end of the day, we'll get the reports from the medical authorities, but it's safe our team to travel. But we'll be preparing as if everything is going to be okay, and we're not going to expose our swimmers to any danger. And um, we're very excited about going to Martinique. Going from wet to dry, the CR Walker Knights are riding high after winning this year's GSSSA Track and Field Championship. The Knights out-jousted the defending champion C.V. Bethel Stingrays, who could only manage a third-place finish this year. C.R. Walker ended the final day with 590.5 points, followed by C.I. Gibson with 520.5 points, and rounding at the top three, as we said, was C.V. Bethel with 486.5 points. Keeping with track and field, the all Luthra High School Track and Field Championship is in the books. Winning it all was Preston Albury with 1,407 points, North Luther was second with 1,093, and in third place was Spanish Wells with 419 points. Head coach of the Preston Albury team, Jamie Williams, says it feels great to win it all, while also using the opportunity to bring attention to some work that needs to be done on the tracks. We train hard, um, me along with Mr. Sean Paul and my teacher. Uh, we have the kids out here, we work every day, and the kids really want it, so, you know, that's why we came out on top. I know every year we talk, we talk about improving these facilities, I noticed that some pumps in the ground, what is being done? Well, nothing is being done as we speak. Um, the reason why we wanted ZNS to come, so we can look again at the track, we definitely need a track. The Jumbe is taking over the track, and, you know, it's a risk for the athletes. How hard is it to keep this up? It's very hard because we got to get sand, we have to get the grass cut. Um, almost every three weeks, so it's very hard to keep it up. Moving from the grass track to the grass pitch, the BFA Youth League is coming to a close, and to mark the end of the season, league organizers hosted a knockout cup and a day of friendly matches. Assistant General Secretary of the Bahamas Football Association, Adam Miller, gave us a better idea of what they aim to accomplish. We're trying to get as much of the kids coming up in the clubs and just bring them all together and let them play a series of games. It's not really competitive, it's not really about the score, it's just about having fun and in, a, in, a, in one safe environment. I know in the next few you've got some competitive games going on though. Yes, um, for some of the fields we do have our first annual BFA Youth Cup. Um, it's just a single elimination um, knockout style uh, tournament. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to add a little bit of flair to uh, the chance of certain teams that don't do well in the season, a chance to actually go and try to win a, a trophy. And staying with football, the BAISS soccer season got underway this week. Earlier in the week, we told you about some senior boys action. Sack beating Kingsway at Kingsway, that went ending 4-2. And playing a makeup game on Wednesday evening were St. Andrews senior boys at Aquinas College. St. Andrews took this one 4-0. Nicholas Pocaris and Ethan Willey led the way for St. Andrews. The youth national team players say they work hard for the win, but there's still room for improvement. Yeah, we started off a little slow, but as the game went on, we found our groove and we started to pass the ball more, get some opportunities good opportunities. I scored a goal. I got my, te my teammates involved and I think we played good. Oh, yeah, I, I missed a few chances myself, but uh, overall it was a good game. I think we played well. Uh, Aquinas are, they're a good team, but we showed that we're better than them. Now, as we said earlier, we're here at the Winton Rugby Field, where a select Bahamas team is taking on the Charlotte Barbarians from North Carolina. After today's activities, the team will head back to their boat and travel to take on a team from Grand Bahama tomorrow. 
The team from North Carolina was strong in the middle of the pitch, but that wasn't enough to stifle the speedy Bahamian team. Speaking for the Bahamas select team was Carl Rogers. Uh, Bahamians are you know, you know, great track athletes, um, and we've got the, the size and the speed on these boys, I think. Freeport's got a very strong team. Uh, I think they're at the top of the league at the moment, so they'll give them a good run as well. So it's, a, it's tough coming over and visiting the Bahamas with rugby. The Bahamas took the match 61 to 35. Head coach of the Charlotte Barbarians was another Carl, Carl Ham. He says intercultural exchange is a huge part of rugby. I came down here for my first time in 1977, and what I'm trying to do is bring back the touring aspect of rugby, the culture of rugby. Uh, Ellie of uh, the Buccaneers has done an unbelievable job helping us over the six months we planned this, and it's great to be here. And it's far better than the 20 degrees we left at home. And that's all the time we have for sports. We've got to really give credit to these sports tourism initiatives that bring communities of people together from all over the world. Once again, I'm Jared Higgs. Stay tuned. Your weather forecast still to come.